Hey guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you an easy method for sculpting clothes in Blender. At first, I'm gonna walk you through step by step and show you how to sculpt this shirt, the pants, boots, and the jacket. And after that, I'll show you how I sculpted these folds. And I really hope you to start practicing step by step with me. So let's get started! First of all, you should choose the 3D model and go to Sculpt Mode. And then you should choose Lasso Mask and start masking the shape you want for the clothes. Also, you can use M and mask it. And if you want to unmask some area, you should hold Ctrl and M. you can hold a hotkey on the keyboard and choose grow mask or even sharpen mask then go to mask menu here and choose mask extract then uncheck extract as solid because in this stage we don't want any thickness and then click ok now if you want to sculpt this it actually has so many polygons and it's so hard to sculpt especially in blender so i use quad remesher add-on in blender actually i paid for it but i think it's cheap and it really worth it and by using the quad remesher you can sculpt easier so i choose it and put the value you want in the quad count and then remesh it and guys as you see the topology is so better now and we can start sculpting with it so easier you can remesh it a few times and when you get your result you can stop remeshing it okay after that choose it and go to sculpt mode again and here in the options make sure to uncheck mesh boundary because if you don't do that it'll make some problems like this here so first uncheck that and then choose inflate brush and start inflating this so now you can start playing with the brushes like grab brush to move it or even i use uh, for example clay strips brush to add volume here and then use smooth brush and smooth them guys actually i work with the low poly as much as i can because it's so much easier to work with and then when I'm done with it, I go back to object mode and add a solidify modifier and apply it because we need some thickness in this stage. And then I add multi-resolution modifier because actually by using this modifier, you can subdivide the 3D model a few times. And then you can change the levels whenever you want during your work and work with the high poly or work with the low poly whenever you want it's so useful okay uh, in this stage uh, i'm just gonna show you how to prepare the base mesh for sculpting clothes so so guys after we prepare the base mesh completely then we can go back and work with the high poly and sculpt the details like the folds so now for sculpting the base mesh for the pants, we should repeat the process. Okay, what was the process? First of all, you should choose your 3D model and choose lasso mask. And then start masking the shape you want. And then go to mask menu and then click on mask extract. Then uncheck extract as solid and then click OK. Then we should go to quad measure and choose the quad count and change it to whatever you want you can try it and then click remesh it then go to sculpt mode and then uh, choose inflate brush and start inflating your shape and actually bring it on okay the point is that 
Whenever you feel that you need more polygons during sculpting, you can choose the base mesh again. For example, choose the pants like this and go to quadra measure and increase the quad count and then remesh it. Because sometimes we really need more polygons and it's okay to do that. Okay, after that I go back to sculpt mode. And actually guys, if you are curious about how to sculpt this 3D character in Blender, you can check out this video up here. Okay, after I'm done with it, uh, I add a solidify modifier and add a thickness to it. And then you can add a multi-resolution modifier and subdivide it a few times. And then go back to sculpt mode to sculpt the details. And as I said before, I'm gonna show you a few minutes later in this video. Okay guys, now we should repeat the exact process for the boots and also the jacket. So you don't need any more explanation in this stage. Just focus on the steps and see what I'm doing for different pieces. So please don't skip this part and also focus on the brushes I use and the whole process. Because I really believe that this method is one of the easiest methods for sculpting the closed base mesh in Blender. So after completing this process, I'll go back again for sculpting primary details. Okay guys, now as you can see, we have sculpted 
all of our base mesh for the clothes and we are ready to go to the next stage for sculpting the primary details and actually that's why we added multi-resolution modifiers for every pieces so in this stage we choose every pieces and go to sculpt mode and start adding our favorite details that we want on the clothes and in this step you can use any reference photo and actually you'd better to use the real photos in the real world because when you start using the references for the first time they really help you to learn how to sculpt the folds or any details on the base mesh and when you do that after a short time you start memorizing them so they're so helpful so please use the reference images okay for adding the details and actually sculpting them I usually use draw brush draw sharp brush inflate and clay strips brush and scrape brush elastic brush grab brush and crease brush you can watch the process till the end in this video to understand how I use them one by one for sculpting the extra details on the clothes and also for sculpting the folds and uh, actually many of you have been asking me about how I use these brushes and what brushes I use for the most part for sculpting the 3D character for that I recorded a video I put it up here so make sure to watch it after watching this video it's so useful because I showed you the basics of sculpting in blender and the brushes I use so now we'd better to focus on sculpting the details and also don't forget to use smooth brush whenever you want guys there are some other ways to sculpt the clothes in blender but mm, I found this method really easy for sculpting the clothes and and I just wanted to show you how to do that
guys thanks for watching this video i hope you like it you can tell me in the comment that how do you usually sculpt the clothes in blender or zbrush and which one is the easiest method for you and again thanks for watching i usually upload one video per week and i would be really happy if you subscribe my channel and be one of my friends so see you soon guys